in March Madness, I am going to be doing a relatively new segment called Film Room. Yeah, Film Room. We're going into the Film Room, and we're going to break down what happened in the Texas-Oklahoma game two nights ago, the last minute. This is why March Madness goes to March Sadness for some folks. Right here, you're going to see the poster child, the poster team for why you go from March Gladness to March Sadness. And we're going to start around the minute and a half mark. Darrell Williams blocked. Verhulst back up, no. And out of bounds. Okay, so we're going to take a look here. And we're going to see where Texas started to let the game slip away. This is what we're about to see. All right, so what you're seeing now is Oklahoma just looking for a shot. They're down one. The penetration, nobody cuts her off. That's clearly right there. Could have been a Deanna Gaston's basketball. Dive before the ball. Okay, no foul, no harm. But for me, that is the beginning of the unraveling of Texas not recognizing that you got to seal the deal on the road. And you have to leave no doubt about what's going to happen in the game. All right, this shot I thought was early in the shot clock. That's a good shot for Booker, but is it the best shot we can get? I don't think so. I think she could have gotten that shot anytime. Also, that shot. Now, Dana Gaston misses the baseline jumper and jogs back. You got to go down and get that, not let it, let them bury you on the end. That's two shots they got. Nobody put a butt on anybody. Everybody else expecting somebody else to get the ball. That's three possessions right there that Oklahoma has gotten. 54 seconds left. All right. Miss pass here. Taylor Jones goes to get the basketball, but what she does, that's a very big detail, but it's a mistake. She dives on the floor, but she leaves the ball exposed. So in that situation, dive on the floor and cover the basketball so there's no way they can double team. There's no way they can actually tie the ball up. She, she dove on the ball, literally kind of on her knees, and that meant anybody could get the basketball. All right, so what happens in that moment? Peyton fouls out. Booker's going to get to the free throw line. Te Texas still up by one, 49 seconds left. Okay, so Book's going to knock down both of these free throws, and Texas is up three, all right? So Blair saying, get back, get back. But what you got to do is you got to guard. I like the decision to put a taller Booker on tot. That's nice. But what's got to happen with everybody else, the help and the rotation, you can't leave them open. That's one mix shot. Grab the basketball. Like, like you're there. That's, a, that's another moment. You seal it. Good pass. The penetration here. It's going to come back, get the basketball, take a shot. Pretty much wide open. Nobody. Grab the basketball. That's Oklahoma. Just look at the activity of the white jerseys. Oklahoma just wanting the basketball. They're going to throw it in. Okay. Inadvertent contact, but she's going to get free throws. They're still down three. Player's going to shoot this one. I can't remember if she made this or not. Okay. Makes that one. Texas up two. 24 seconds left. Misses that one. Right there, De Deanna Gaston, go get the basketball. Now they throw it back to Oklahoma. Y'all, they've had like nine possessions right there. They're going to call a travel on Booker. Now, I don't know if that was the right call or not. I have to go back and look at that again. But what I do know is time score situation. Book. Grabs the basketball and takes off as if she has to do anything other than wait for them to foul her. That's what needed to happen. So now there's a violation. St staying on the Oklahoma end of the game, of the, of the court. This is like their eighth or ninth possession. So they're looking for it. They're down two. Nice pass. She traveled. They didn't call it. Okay. So it goes out of bounds. Oklahoma basketball. This is their, what, ninth possession now? Tenth possession? All because Texas has not closed it. Nobody's boxing out. Nobody's squeezing the basketball. Nobody's paying attention to the details. Good pass. She's going to miss this. Misses it. Grab the basketball. 
Oklahoma, three. Oklahoma up one. 4.5 seconds remaining in the game. Now, what we're going to see, we're going to see, we see that again. Grab the ball. Deanna Gaston, instead of just grabbing the basketball, is hitting it. Oklahoma tosses it to their three-point shooter, and, you know, now it's a different ball game. 71-70. Horns down, sir. Or, oh, sorry, that's a ma'am. <laughs> that's a ma'am, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see you, chick. I did not see you. All right. Here, I can't tell. I wasn't on that side, so I don't know what happened here. Book obviously thinks she got fouled, but you're not going to get that on the road. You're just not going to get it. Oklahoma did an incredible job in the last minute. 11 to 12 possessions. Offensive rebounds out the wazoo. Just fighting. What I saw in Oklahoma is that they did not want to share their championship with Texas two, two years in a row. That's what I saw. I saw Oklahoma saying, we want it more. We want it more. Unbelievable. Unbelievable game by Oklahoma. Great coach. Great effort by them. Uh, these teams might meet in the upcoming Big 12 conference, but, hey, this is just one that got away from Texas. Kudos to Oklahoma. See you in the next one.